not uh, that I'm not voting out of apathy. I'm not voting out of absolute indifference and weariness and exhaustion from the lies, treachery, deceit of the political class that has been going on for generations now and which has now reached fever pitch where we have a disenfranchised, disillusioned, despondent underclass that are not being represented by that political system. So voting for it is tacit complicity with that system and that's not something I'm offering up. Only 20% of 18 to 25 year olds voted in the 2010 general election, with an overall voting turnout of 44%. Overall 60% voting turnout in Barking and Dagenham constituency during the 2010 general election. Local MP leader of the borough, John Crudders, discusses the disengagement between politicians and 18 to 25 year olds. Policy issues in terms of jobs, higher education, you know, who can vote and who can't. Registration issues are quite a live issue at the moment in terms of the deregistration of hundreds of thousands of people around the country. So it's a mixture of policies. There are policy issues facing young people. I speak to an awful lot of young people in schools, colleges, students, people who come to see me or email me, and they're all very frustrated about what's happening in the country. They can see, actually, the economic crisis and who picks up the bill for it falling in their lap. Councillor of Barking and Dagenham, Margaret Relaine, explains what the local Labour Party are doing to encourage 18 to 25 year olds to get involved with politics. There needs to be much more politics in schools and colleges a lot earlier because um, you might be too late with someone. By the time an MP or a councillor is coming in and they're at college or that, they might be disengaged from the whole process altogether. Mm -hmm. I think social media is fabulous, so you get an idea of what young people want, really. So then that could be a campaign up. They've done a massive, massive campaign locally and nationally encouraging them to vote. I know for a fact that John Crudders, Margaret Hodge, uh, the councillors, if they're asked, are, are often asked into um, colleges, universities, that kind of thing as well. Following Sky's Stand Up and Be Counters campaign, in which young adults questions leading politicians over issues that affected them. So what is the local Labour Party doing to encourage young adults to vote? Get more people registered. There has been quite a dramatic deregistration of people. My, my basic approach has always been... If you don't vote, you can't complain, really. I mean, that's partly what I think. Now, I know it goes against what Russell Brand says or whatever, who says, you know, tip the whole thing over, don't bother voting. Well, it seems to me you just reinforce the elite's capture of the political system and the economic system if you do not contest it. That seems to me to be just a sort of narcissistic route through this. Political parties have got a lot to do yet. I, I, I think they're making the right noises and I think they realise the problem, but I think they're going to have to work a lot, lot harder to get the young, young people to engage, really. The stakes are really high in this election. I'm not telling anyone how to vote, but, you know, exercise your right to vote mm -hmm. as a core element of your citizenship in the country and in terms of your local community.